Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the software that goes with the QS1R direct sampling receiver. Software comes in two parts. One part is the um, server software, and the other part is the graphical user interface software, which is called the SDR Max 3. Both are experimental and designed to work under the OS X operating system of the Mac. Right now I'm using a MacBook Pro. So let's open the finder on the Mac, go to my documents, and I've installed the uh, files for the uh, server and the graphical interface on my disk. Start the server. Right now the software is loading the firmware onto the QS1R receiver. It's found the device, and okay, it is loaded. I'm going to get rid of this window, and um, start the graphical user interface. Okay, here we go, let's bring it in. And connect to the server and start. Now we can see the waterfall deploying downwards. Right now we're on the 14 megahertz band. Let me just get rid of this here. Okay. We can see um, down in the waterfall the CW signals here. There's another one here. Let's move over to see what it's like. Whoops. Stop transmitting. Let's get back to this one. This one has stopped transmitting too. Okay, right now the bandwidth of the filter is set for high. That's because I'm in USB. Uh, mode. Let's uh, see uh, CW upper mode, which is right now. Uh, I can set it to one kilohertz filter bandwidth. Okay, so these are CW signals. Upper side band mode. We can see the upper side band, single side band signals here down below. Let's move over and listen in to a couple of them. So those are signals on the 20 meter band. I'm using a random wire out there uh, for the purposes of the demonstration. The right hand panel uh, is quite a bit detailed. I've pre-programmed a number of bands, in fact all the HF amateur bands, uh, so that I can switch over instantly on the 15 meter band for example. Not much activity today. Right now, uh, it's uh, it's the middle of the day on Friday, November 26, year 2010. So I can switch over to any band uh, that I pre-programmed, uh, the 40 meter band, for example. That's the that's that's an AM signal. Let's switch over to lower side band. Listening on. Um, KC2MKI. It's off there, right? 
long walk yesterday. It would be nice to have, a... have another long walk today. And um, yeah, this this the old equipment I have here is not my original old equipment. It was the stuff I, I can I play around with the equipment. bandwidth of the filter. As a novice technician in general, between 1966 and 1968, right now. And I decided to reacquire the stuff here. Widen it, as you can see, to five, ago, six, seven, eight, ten kilohertz, or narrow it here. down. So, but they're not great AM transmitters. That's that's the unfortunate thing. I don't have two point seven, two point one, one point eighty eight. So this is this comes in handy so when you want to get rid AM. of uh, yeah, uh, inter you, interference I, close I, by. I uh, let's uh, have another look here at the at noise filter, noise reducer. The signal sounds a bit weird with the noise reducer on, but it's very effective. So in some cir circumstances, you do need that. So to move from one signal to the other, I just slide the cursor. And to, to uh, slide from one part of the 40 meter band to the other, for example, uh, let's go down and uh, listen in on a few CW signals. We'll switch over to CW, CW lower, and You see, this is kind of neat because we can see, actually see the uh, dots and dashes of CW signals. Okay, so that's, um, that was the short demonstration of the Graphical User Interface, SDR Max 3.0, which is an experimental software right now working on the Mac OS X operating system, along with the server software in the back, in the background, which is uh, interfacing with the hardware. So that's it. I'm going to stop the server disconnect, close the graphical user interface window, and just type X to stop this version of the server and completely close it. As you can see, the graphical user interface on Windows is quite a bit different. It includes an S meter, among other things, but functionally it is the same. This concludes our demonstration of the QS1R software with uh, the graphical user interface for Macintosh.